free whiteboard animation software, Mango Animate. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we'll be doing a quick look at Mango Animate, which is basically a whiteboard animation or just a animation software. They have multiple different packages and you can get a free trial for 30 days or even continue on using it for free. So let's get into it. Now to get started, simply head on over to mangoanimate.com. Once you are in mangoanimate.com, simply click on download and download your Mac or Windows application for Mango Animate. This can take a little bit of time to set it up, but you just download it and wait for it to be installed. Once the installation is complete, this is what you're going to see. This is the Mango Animate software. And you guys can see you have a recent section, a template section, and then in your template section on the left, you have free templates. You can uh, choose those and you guys can see you have multiple different categories as well. So after that, you also have a uh, navigation panel on the top. You have your project, open project and import PowerPoint. So let's take a look at one of these templates. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a account like this and you will just click on sign up over here. I have created my account previously, so and I'm just logging on to my account over here. It can take a little bit of time for Mango Animate to get started because, uh, you know, it's not a web a browser extension. It is a application of itself. So it can take some time for it to be logged on. I'm just going to continue on over here. And once I have logged on, I can select the template that I want. And I'm just going to wait for the template to be loaded. And I will get back to you guys once our template is loaded. So our template, uh, I just took a preview and our template more so has a lot more animation than whiteboard animation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from scratch instead so we can focus on whiteboard animation. So what I'm going to do is click on new project over here. And once you open your new project, you will have your default camera, which is basically the default section where your uh, whiteboard will be. And you can choose to increase the time. So let's say for the first three seconds, I want to be in my default camera. Now, what you're going to do is you have your first scene on the top left and you can click on add scene and you can choose what kind of scene you want to add. Uh, for whiteboard animation, you really don't need a lot other than, uh, you know, your basic scene. And then you have roles on the right side. So you can add multiple different roles. You also have other and you have, you know, slides, formulas, as well as any favorites that you add, any shapes you want to add, text or image you want to add. So now, as you guys can see, I also have my aspect ratio selected. So the first thing I want to do is I want to say hi to the video viewers. So for that, I would select um, one of these simple roles like this. Uh, I think I'm going to go with this one. And I wanted to say hi. So I'm just going to look at the hello one like this. I will place it over here. I can choose the size as well. So let's increase the size a little or maybe decrease it. This is too big. Yes, yeah, so I'm just going to place it over here like so. And let's take a look at our preview. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to extend the hello like this, going back with our preview like so and then i'm going to add some text as well just taking a look at our preview over here we have this welcome and now i can go into my second frame so i can click on new scene and i can make it animated i can make it all i can make it simple whatever you want so after that you can add another uh add camera effect like this and then you can pan out so this can be really helpful in terms of scene continuation that you don't get on a lot of other tools so i can actually you know make a continuing scene like so i'm just going to rotate this a little to fit better and then it's going to be overlapping with our first default camera and this is great for whiteboard based software so you can place a character right on the side that can be like a really uh, great way to, um, you know, integrate multiple different characters. Uh, I'm just going to take this one and I will make it uh, walking. We have multiple different walking ones. 
like this and I would flip it to the other direction obviously and then I'm going to resize this select my character place it over here then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add the camera one like this so it goes into this like so and then after that I can add another camera so I will click on add camera and then I can add you know another camera section for the uh, moving character to move into now from here I will begin adding you know my customized uh, information so I can add my text over here and in this way piece by piece you can really build quite a interesting video using mango animate you have all of these different character options and you can add audio video as well as multiple different backgrounds and scenes that you can create with mango video so like this, the continuation is something that a lot of people really don't get on other tools. Plus, it's free to use and it's easy and effective for basic content creation or informational uh, content creation or information uh, slide creation, all of that good stuff. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to get started with Mango Animate. I do think that it's probably not one of the most powerful tools. If you take a look at their pricing over here, on the free version, you can only export 576p or basically 560p. Then you have the professional version where you can export it for 720p. But if you want all of the features that Mango Animate has, you have to go to the 1080p version, uh, which is the enterprise version, which starts at $199 per year. So this is a one-time purchase. However, you don't have to buy it over and over again. And if you only want a specific suite of Mango Animate, such as a um, presentation maker, a whiteboard animation maker, character video maker, you can choose one-time payments on any of these plans. So for just whiteboard animation, you can subscribe to it for only $39, which is a one-time payment. It's not a recurring subscription and it is going to be uh, worthwhile if you're doing a lot of work with this. You don't have to, you know, subscribe to premium plans of, you know, online tools that can end up costing you a lot in the long run. So do check Mango Animate out and you guys can see that other than, you know, your Biteboard animation, you can do a lot with it. You have a basic, uh, you know, animation character maker, you have a text video maker. So it has multiple different use cases as well. I hope you guys found this video helpful and if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.